G'day everyone and welcome back to NX2HD. Today I'm going to bring you a casual match between, well, a bunch of North American players and a bunch of European players. You can see on the scoreboard it is quite a mixture of clans, so it's no particular clan. This is happening on the Duplex uh, public game server, so they're kindly hosting this for some uh, friendly matches. And so we've got some pub EU players, some Duplex players, some Inversion players, some Dark Side players, some HBZ as well, so it's a real mixture of Europe and North American teams and I'm just going to cast it so not a serious cast not even sure if I'll put my casting bar at the top but it should be quite a bit of fun because a lot of these players are extremely good some of them I am not that familiar with but I'm sure by the end of this match I will be more familiar I'm just waiting for a round start at the moment following pub EU Zico around as he Messes around in the base, awaiting game start. I will put my spectator map on in the bottom left corner for you. That's a new feature of build 187. It allows casters like me to not have to mod the game. Fiha is an NS2 player who created a fantastic mod that allowed me to have a spectator map in the bottom right hand and bottom left hand corner of my screen uh, during my class. And that is no longer necessary, but uh, my, my thanks to Fiha for making that possible before it was officially possible in the game. Let's have a fly around of the map uh, just while we wait for the game to start. Starting off in Alien Start, I'm sure you're all very familiar with Summit by now, but if you're not, uh, this is Reactor, so this is a quick uh, quick opportunity for a second harvester for the Alien team. Moving upwards through this corridor, we can see Data Core. Data Core sees a lot of combat in Summit. Uh, huge room for map control. It has both a tech point and an extractor in the one room and it's usually the safest possible place with an alien hive so you see very often uh, the marine team trying to push this and secure it before the aliens can drop that second hive and get those fades. Uh, moving down we have ventilation which is a single extractor which like reactor is pretty much a fast extractor point. It's the more, uh, I'd say the more contested of the two fast extractors for the marine team. And then uh, moving forward again, we have Marine Start, which currently has an unoccupied command station. Not sure what's going on with the two teams at the moment, probably getting ready as 6 on 6 is happening. Moving on the left side of the map, uh, or what do you call this, the left side? I guess you'd call it uh, the uh, western side of the map. The western side of the map, we have Flight Control with that single extractor. Again, a fast extractor for the Marine team. A, an effective Marine team will usually have ventilation and flight control very quickly in the game. Heliport, you do not do not often see a hive heliport unless the game has been going on for quite a while and the aliens are dominating just because it's very vulnerable to marine fire from over here. Marines can sort of just duck behind this and shoot at the hive and damage it and that is never good for a hive. They tend to die when enough bullets hit them. Uh, we have down here uh, the crevice extractor. So this is a very large open area. Marines are capable of getting over here and the aliens are capable of really getting everywhere. Nice place to put a phase gate over here with some sentry guns on this pile of rocks. Swalk saying, okay, we're ready. So it looks like I might have a few seconds to go up here into Crossroads, which is the final main room. There are obviously a couple of little rooms I haven't touched on, uh, which are mainly connecting rooms, but a tech point and an extractor, sorry, and a, a resource point in Crossroads. This is the second most common place to see a hive in a, high, a second hive drop in um, Summit, and you'll often see alien teams that have been uh, denied data core try for the cross, crossroads hive instead, maybe with a quick shade to try and hide it and prevent the marines from realizing the hive is up till it's at say 30 or 40 percent and easier to defend. This single lockable door in Summit uh, leads from what's this corridor called? Uh, something. It's called something, and that leads from crossroads to the something corridor which allows you to get to ventilation and marine start. So both teams still messing around uh, at the moment. I know one team is ready, the other team perhaps not, still talking about their strategies. Let's go down and check out uh -huh, an empty command station. That's funny. I'd love to see these marines um, do the everyone pile into the command station and die trick. I wonder what the alien team is doing. I believe it's the alien team that's not ready. Uh, I just think it was Swalk that said he was ready. So the aliens seem to be still messing around out here. Maybe testing out some cyst placement, perhaps. Not sure. But uh, teams will generally take their time to prepare in games like this. 
they'll have a good long chat about what they're going to do. This is quite a competitive game. Okay. Boxer says, yeah, ready. Boxer is the team captain for Darkseid. Can't wait to see Darkseid play in the NSOHD beta tournament. Uh, they're a, pretty much an unknown quantity for me. I don't get to see them play very often. 15 seconds to game start now. So, whoa. How's that alien able to move around? Something weird going on there. No, here we go. Here's the pause. There we go. The aliens are off. Looks like they are all moving onto the eastern side of the map. Marines splitting evenly two and two, west and east, into flight control and ventilation. Uh, pretty much all skulks moving aggressively uh, past reactor, and they have split. Two of them have gone in. One of them gone into crossroads, and two into data core, including who's this boxer and Kinkos, 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 sexy Kinkos. I'll just call you Kinkos. Um, Two Marines holding vent. I like this. They're not being too aggressive, pushing for data. They know that if they do, it's likely that there'll be too many skulks in there for them to handle. We have one gorge moving down towards Crevice. Let's check out who the gorge is. It's Grizzy is the gorge. So you can see his res has dropped down to 10. Uh, currently both... Ooh, Kara sitting on 31 team resources. So obviously a hive save there. Uh, Frontiersman, uh, only 14 resources. So they've gone for their extract drops. One, both Marines stand interesting placement of themselves here, Joes and Koroyo, who is the team captain for Pub EU, uh, covering this hallway, one with the rifle, one with the pistol, and now it looks like that uh, Swalk has joined them, and now they're going to push up, now they've got three people, a fast observatory, so a fast scan going down here, to tell these Marines there's only one Skulk in here, and this is going to be bad for the Skulk, he's going to try and attack, but Boxer does go down, the team captain of Darkseid goes down to these three marines, and they will probably be able to... Oh, there was another Skulk hiding in there, so no two Skulks, wow, how did I not see them, but they both go down. So Jetty Bones, uh, Skulks there, and they're all repairing each other's armor there. It looks like we've got an extractor drop in Heliport as well, so a lot of extractors have gone down for the marine team. This is a lot of rares. Two skulks, one gorge coming in. This is, this is an attack. So the gorge is going to try and heal up his skulk buddies. He's going to try and get in close. Looks like he's going to back out now that one skulk is down. But uh, here we go. Uh, Kinko's finishing off Swalk there. And that was a great attack by the alien team. All arms assault is how I would describe that. And uh, two skulks and a gorge is a great early game combination because that gorge can keep those skulks healed up during combat. You can absorb quite a bit of damage during the combat. And uh, that's, that extractor has been recycled. I believe it was recycled. And now the skulks are going to move into ventilation. So a bit of aggression from the alien team now. Uh, movement back and forth between Dark War and, uh, and ventilation. So those skulks are going to clean that up. And it looks like there is some combat happening over in Heliport. Let's see if I can get lucky and get over there. Nope, I'm going to get back to Data Core, Data Core. Okay, let's, this will do. Crevice, so switching between players there just to see what was going on in Heliport. It looks like we've still got some combat over here. No, I'm totally imagining things. There wasn't even anything on the minimap, but there was some combat there. There is a lurk up for the alien team. Who's the lurk? Boxer is the lurk. So after he lost his skulk, he went straight into lurk. And he's probably going to be terrorizing the marine team with some gas very soon. We've got a whip, so no doubt weapons level 1. I don't know what the tech structure is. I can't see one. So, maybe no tech structure at the moment. Uh, maybe, this, let's check out the res. 55 team resources, so it's definitely building up. There's assist drop towards data core, and the power is out in here. And there's the drifter, so no doubt going to see a hive drop very soon. Looks like the drifter might be having a little trouble building. That does happen occasionally. But uh, Grizzly the Gorge has established defenses here. Fantastic placement of his Hydra. Uh, this is exactly what Gorges need to do. Gorge is my favorite class just because it is so versatile and so crucial to the Marine team. If you don't have, uh, sorry, the alien team. Uh, if you don't have Gorge, you will go down. Kinko's managing to kill Koroyo before going down to, sp to Swalk there. And Swalk now going to press in. He's going to push Grizzly out. Grizzly knows he's too important to just die at the hands of Marines, so he is going to back away and hope, I think, that this Hydra can hold off this Marine long enough for reinforcements to arrive and try to recover this alien hive. There goes Swalk, going down to Grizzy's uh, spitballs there, heals up Boxer. The Gorge, he is a battle medic, he is a damage absorber, he is a structure killer, he is a defense builder, he is an infestation spreader, he's the cutest alien on the uh, alien team. He's just generally, uh, he's just a fantastic alien class, and he's quite unique, I think, 
uh, as a class in any kind of alien uh, video game. I, I don't think I can think of one that matches his kind of versatility and character. This lurk keeping marines at bay with a few spikes. These marines know they need to stop this hive to lock down this game and be assured of victory. They've done pretty well so far, but the hive is now growing. It's probably at about 30-40% now. The observatory is making a scan so they know what they're facing in there, but they probably don't have the hardware, sending quite a few rounds up the ramp there to try and dissuade the aliens from establishing too, uh, getting too dug in at the top of that ramp. They want those aliens to know they are there and that they are going to come and get them. And here we go. Looks like, oh, I'm going to have to fly through the map here to catch this in time. The uh, Marines are moving from behind. So using fast movement to uh, move round the back, it looks like two Marines are going to try and attack this harvester and watch this. The aliens are coming straight for them. They're coming from Dartical. One Marine waiting by the door to cover against that lurk. Where's the gas? No, he's using the spikes. And an observatory beacon has recovered those Marines. So none of them went down. That is really interesting play from the Marine commander. I don't think the base was under attack. I think they just realized the situation was hopeless and they needed to get recovered. They probably weren't expecting such fast alien movement, uh, getting back there and defending so quickly. We've got an arms lab, an observatory on. Ooh, okay, yes, perhaps the base was under attack and that's why they did it. They've got a second observatory up, but that observatory is badly damaged. No robotics bay, uh, robotics uh, factory, sorry. <laughs> Not playing Starcraft here. No robotics factory, so no max yet. Let's go back and check on the... Uh, the construction level of this hive, the lights are out in here, this is definitely an alien zone, 84%. Have, have any aliens got the resources? Kinkos and Quovatus and Calabalana have the resources to go fade as soon as that hive pops. So, the Marines are going to be facing fades very soon. There go the bullets. Oh, Shiv taking down Swalk with the help of some Gorge spitballs there. His body crumples against that bulkhead. He'd been shooting quite effectively up that ramp, but he has gone down. And, uh, well, I think the Marines are in spot of bother. Looks like a phase gate going up, and that is definitely essential because it's going to allow them to bring... Uh, reinforcements to this zone faster. There goes the phase gate. It doesn't have another end at the moment. No doubt we'll see that going up in Marine Base very soon. Interesting placement. I probably would have placed it right here because that stops uh, aliens using their ranged attacks from here and attacking it. A phase gate is a vulnerable structure. It doesn't have a whole lot of hit points. So interesting placement there, but these guys are much better players than me, so I won't second guess them. I'll just offer my uh, opinions. Some gas making it difficult for the Marines to see what might be going on in here. Uh, it has dissipated, and now the grenades are out. So that advanced armory has led to grenades, and this will be the moment where the Marine team has the opportunity to push through and destroy this hive. Spikes are attacking the armory. Ooh, I don't know if they can hit the armory from there. They probably can. But uh, the nade spam has be begun. Uh, the effect's not quite working there. That's a known problem in build 187. The explosive effects and the fade effects aren't working all the time. There they are. So now the aliens are in real trouble. The, the nades are going to be going off like a mortar assault. It's like an artillery assault. The whip goes down. That was a well-placed whip, but against a whole lot of grenades, it's just not going to work. Disappointed the effects aren't working right now because we would be seeing an absolute light show, a fireworks display of all these grenades going off. With that armory there, there's really, I mean, the, the main the grenade launcher in Dual 187 is perhaps not the most balanced weapon, and this is going to allow these marines to absolutely flog this uh, boxer moving in aggressively. He takes damage, minions lurk screaming, but he manages to deploy gas, and what excellent gas that is. He did really well, he's probably got to go back to, to heal now, but uh, that armor is taking damage. There's a fade coming through here to para grenading himself in an effort to kill that fade. Unsuccessful. The grenades continue to roll out. Luckily for the alien team, the grenades cannot easily bounce up this ramp, so Grizzy is doing damage to that armory there, and I doing damage, 44%, 43%, it is going down, so uh, without Max to repair it, I think the uh, aliens have a great chance of killing this armor, and that will stop the grenade spam, because the aliens will have to have use ammo packs, or move all the way back to Marine Base, interesting that they are leaving the armory, uh, they're going straight for the jugular, and going for that phase gate, the phase gate to Marine start is now going down, see it twitching as it gets damaged, I love the healing twitch animations, it's, it's part of the whole theory in Natural Section 2 that buildings become kind of organic, even on the Marine team. 
So they have sort of life to them, they have personality, and that twitch animation when they're damaged is all part of that. The shot, interesting that every marine just switched to a shotgun. They switched from grenades to shotgun. Shot down, shot down. I think they've done that because they've realized that instead of attacking with alien structures, they've moved to attacking higher alien life forms, and therefore they need the shotguns instead. But great team discipline to see everyone move together and everyone grab the shotgun at the same time. The nade spam going off in marine base to try and get these aliens back, but it looks like the aliens are starting to lock down the marine team. There is a second hive in heliport right now, so it's not looking good for the marine team at all. Lots of deaths, and I don't think... Look at this, a quick drop of two hydras by Grizzly is starting to take that power node down, so huge pressure on the marine team. They will easily be able to nade those two hydras or shotgun them to death. They will die very, very quickly. But nevertheless, great to see that kind of aggression from an alien team. It's, uh, so what do, we, what do we get there? We only got 60% damage, but I mean, if that had gone on for two minutes, that might have done 50% damage, allowing the board to get in there and file bomb it very, very quickly. The advanced army on 71%. Aliens moving freely through the, freely through the marine base. Marine weapons lying discarded all over the floor. There's a flamethrower. That's quite critical. If a marine can keep up, click, uh, pick up the flamethrower and set all these fades on fire, then there might be a chance to push them back, but I don't think it's going to happen. Shazbot says, Korea, and that is GG, good game and great play from the alien team, and you know, I think the Marines did very well, they had a lot of uh, tactical moments that were very good, perhaps some building placement that didn't serve them all that well over in ventilation uh, to data core corridors, but overall, sorry, pipe junction, pipe junction, that's what that room is called. But overall, great play from both teams. Thanks very much to uh, Duplex for having me on their server to cast this video. If you haven't checked out my interview with Max regarding uh, technical tasks going on at Unknown Worlds right now, check that out. That is the video preceding this one. Uh, well played, everyone, and I will see you all soon for more NS2HD videos.